Coming to you live from the White Picket Studios in Houston, Texas, this is the Realty Ruckus. If you are in any way, shape, or form involved in the real estate industry, this is the show for you. And now, your host, Alan Hernandez. Welcome to the Realty Ruckus out of the White Picket Realty Studios. I am your host, Alan Hernandez. Sitting next to me, your producers, David Bonilla, Gibran Hernandez. We are here to make sure that your real estate business is growing right alongside with ours. Don't forget that you can drop all your questions, comments, concerns, anything that you want to talk about down below. As always, we have a phenomenal show planned out for you guys. We can't wait to share all of the cool information that we've gathered. Cool but information, <laughs> but you've got, yeah, you we've got a story to <laughs> tell. We've had quite the day, huh? But before we get into some of the coolness that we want to discuss with you guys, I have the craziest story about something that happened literally a few hours ago, like today. Yeah, and for anyone who's listening, you just you, you got to hear this audio, <laughs> and then we'll explain what's happening. Oh, you're going to play the audio? Yeah, yeah let's I'm, go I'm with the audio. the audio. Oh, man. And then we'll, we'll let people try to figure out what yeah. the heck just happened here. But as it's All loading right. up... <laughs> Well, yeah, let's wait for a few what? more people to jump on. We got we got a few viewers now. We're, we're, let's, I can't believe you guys are going to Come on, on, guys. On jump in thing. on this drama. For all of you joining oh, in, watching now, we're about to un, uh, let some drama unfold yes. here. BB is loading up the audio. But what I want you to do before we play this clip is go ahead and share the feed to your personal page yes, so absolutely. others can listen in. Yeah, absolutely. We want to make sure that you guys are all So go ahead, share. Facebook has changed the algorithms on us, so it's not as easy as it used to be for us to share our show and make sure that our viewers out there are getting the full experience of the Realty Ruckus. All right, so here's what happened. Let me just give you guys a quick little update, maybe like the, the brief the brief explanation. So how funny, I just realized something. I, I just shared the video, yeah. and in the link it says that this is a live video and it's explicit. So I guess that, that Facebook has gone through and said, oh man, these guys tend to curse a lot and say a lot of nasty shit on does, the air. Does it say that? <laughs> Yeah, it said that on the end after the oh, link that I just man. said. It said this is an explicit video, okay. which is good because the audio footage that I'm about to play is pretty explicit. I can't if, believe this if you're play. listening to this at work, I actually recommend turn that you turn it down. down a little bit or you put yes, on headphones. Yes, not safe for work. Because there's some <laughs> ugly words, and we don't condone the language used in here, by the way. But we, we'll explain what happened. Just play the dang video Thank already. you for sharing, Tang. Thank right, you for right. sharing. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Oh, we can't hear it. We can't hear it. It's not loud enough. Well, you know what? I'm just going to drop the link down for everyone. There you go. Let's below. drop the link in there. So I'll drop it down for you guys yeah. to see it right now down below. Well, did I, here, I'll play, it on my, uh, I'll play it on my computer, and uh, I'll just put the microphone up to my speaker. So oh, there that. you go. That'll work. Yeah, let's get so, it up for everybody. So let me just give everybody a quick recap of what happened. Send it I, to me. Send it to me. I got a call this morning. I got a call this morning uh, from, from the lady that cleans uh, one of my Airbnb properties, and she says, hey, looks like somebody uh, vandalized your property. So, you know, the first thing that I do is okay. go in and check the, the actual cameras, but the cameras are And you know online. what's funny is that I always criticize Alan for checking the cameras, and had he been checking the cameras, he probably would have avoided this. Okay, okay. Hold here, on. here you go, here you go. Uh, you find it? Get out. Window breaking. <laughs> That's my window. <laughs> this hey, is my favorite part. I'll punch the other one out. I'll punch the other one out. Get out now. Put your pants on. And put your damn <laughs> pants on. <laughs> So what in the world? Yeah. world what did we just listen man? to, Alan? For all of the people who just jumped on, what the oh, hell did we just man. listen to? Some of the shenanigans that come along with leasing properties to people that you don't know, and this is just yeah, part Airbnb. Of, uh, this is property, just part right? of it. Yeah, this is an Airbnb property. We've probably had more than a hundred people go through this property in the last year, year and a half that yeah. I owned it, and. Never have a, never had a problem before. Yeah, and it just so happens that this guy, for whatever reason, had a had an, a problem with one of the guests, one of the other guests that yeah. was staying there, and he, I don't know if she locked him out or what the scenario was. And well, she wasn't she, a down B. She wasn't a down B. That's what she, he, he she, says it in the video. Have, she didn't have any pants on. <laughs> she had no so pants on. That was enough for that. For and she for had the bit. money. Yeah, that's all we. That know. was the weirdest thing. Yeah, in the where's my? It kind of sounded kind of sounded like Stewie Stewie <laughs> yeah. Griffin. You better have my money. <laughs> where's my money? <laughs> and, and you know, it, like he turns around and he just like elbows 
elbows the window and shatters it. So uh, make sure you guys check out the video link that we just posted down below. It's just a little, hey, just, you posted it? just some shit. Check it out. We're about to go to commercials. Some shenanigans. Uh, we're on the Real T-Records. Stay tuned. When we get back, we'll get into Funky Town and how you can get in and get out of it. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey Houston, this is Alan Hernandez, and I want to remind you guys to visit our friends over at Quest IRA to learn everything there is to learn about investing with your IRA. Now, if you haven't been over there recently, you have to check them out. They have free educational classes, networking opportunities, the ability to tap into a billion dollars for your real estate investing deals. These are the guys to know when it comes to learning about this kind of stuff. You want to make sure you visit them and check them out over at www.questira.com. Again, that's questira.com. Stop searching and start staying in the know with our Houston Real Estate Events page on Facebook. Follow us by searching at Houston Real Estate Events to stay up to date on the latest events for real estate in the Houston area. If you are interested in having your event on our page, please email me at david at whitepicketrealty.com. Again, that's david at whitepicketrealty.com non-paid events only. One more time, find us on Facebook at Houston Real Estate Events and we'll see y'all at the next one. What do you love about White Picket? I love that we work together as a team. I love being professional while having fun. I love the innovative approach we take every day. I love the support we get to grow our business. We, we love White Picket! And I love empowering the next generation of realtors to live life by their own design. If you're looking to grow, come grow with us. Email join at teamwpr.com. Again, that's J-O-I-N at teamwpr.com. And we are back on Realty Ruckus. Remember that you can find us live on Facebook and YouTube, where if you chat with us live during the show, we can answer your questions live on the air. Now, we just witnessed something, and I got to say, out of all the Airbnb properties that we've ever had, all the rental properties we've ever had, this might take the cake as being the most outrageous thing <laughs> I've ever thing. seen. All right, so it gets even weirder because then, so so fine, he goes, he breaks the window. Yeah. And, it, and I don't know if you can see it in the clip that I just showed. Oh, and he does it so like, he just, he just didn't care, yeah, man. He I just mean, like punches, punches yeah. right through yeah, it. That was crazy. I was waiting it, to see his hand on bleeding. Because you know those windows are, I mean, they're 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 hard to break. Yeah, and, and not only that, but normally when people punch through a window, they get real bloody. Yeah. Like their hands are bleeding. Yeah. So, so then he just walks up and grabs the camera and just rips it off. Oh, so there's more beyond that. Yeah. So, okay. so it, it ends. Wow. It ends where he walks up and we can, you know, we can see his face real clear. So we, Good. we've turned it over Good. to the police. And, Hope they catch that and, bastard. And uh, he grabs the camera and rips it off and walks away. Oh, wow. But I think, I think he thought that because he took the camera that I wouldn't have the footage. Oh, see, there's this new thing going around. It's called the cloud. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Like, so how, how can I reach into this cloud and get the footage? So thugs are a little behind the time. So I called him. So I called him. I called him out on it. Oh, you called him on I the called phone? Him. You talked I to called him. him on the phone. Wait, man, you, you're not giving us all the good. <laughs> wow. You actually talked to this Tell guy. I called more. him. I called him. You know, when, was when, he calm on the when phone? When we're leasing a property, one of the things that we do is we collect personal contact information. Okay, so he was staying there. Yeah, yeah he, he was, was the Airbnb tenant. Okay. He's the Airbnb he the guest. Okay. And, and, and so... And so I called him and I was like, hey, man, what happened to the window? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't know. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're Oh, my God. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I have you on camera. Just because you stole the dang camera doesn't mean I don't have the footage. You know? And he's like, oh, just send me the bill. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we will be <laughs> sending him the bill. Wait, is sharing, he still staying there? And sharing this wonderful video with everyone here in the world. Uh, no, he's out. He left right before I got there. Oh, so he knew. We, Here's we the creepy thing, though. He left a bunch of tools. In, like he, he, There was even a receipt where he went to Home Depot. Yeah. And, had, and, and he bought a crowbar. He bought a drill. Uh, a box of screws. <laughs> was he about to, like, steal everything I, out of the house? I feel like he... And, and so there's... So there's all these screws to the, you know in the in the back of the house and I'm I'm looking at them and and they're like drywall school screws and I'm like man 
what could he have possibly wanted to do with these? Like, Very like, weird. It's so like, bizarre. So anyway, and the conversation he was having with with the woman who was there, <laughs> I don't know if that's a significant other or that's a friend or a business. I don't think associate. so because she's not a. She was a she's not a down B. That's for <laughs> I don't, sure. I don't think they're doing too well. <laughs> anyway, can't, let's let's move on. We got to talk about Funky Town, and what we, what we mean by Funky Town is literally. <laughs> The funk. The, the funk. funk. Everyone knows what we're talking the about. It's not like we got the funk. No, not that one. No, the wrong we got funk. The funk. Oh, I, yeah, thought, yeah. I thought we were going to keep it going. Yeah, got to have that <laughs> funk. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about the funk that you get into when you're in real estate. And a lot of times it's or just in business, really, any say. entrepreneur. It's, it's a mm. lot of times attributed to being an entrepreneur and, and an entrepreneur uh, that goes through all the ups and downs of having an income and not having an income or things falling apart or not understanding why things are working and not working. And all of a sudden you're like, man, this sucks. Yep. You know, and you're walking around, you know, and you're yep. slashed over and you feel like crap. And, and I know it when it's happening to me, but I didn't realize, I didn't realize that it happens to everyone. Oh, it yeah. happens oh, yeah. to everyone. And, and a lot of times it happens in the real estate industry, which, why, by the way, I do believe that that's why the real estate industry drinks so heavily. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is in a funk. Because a, a lot of realtors go through this. Man. We're going to show you the healthy way to get out of the funk today. <laughs> a lot of realtors go through that, you know. And, and, of course, nobody ever wants to admit it. Nobody ever walks around and says, oh, yeah, I'm in a funk because that just, like, makes the funk worse. Well, yeah, that's the thing. You know, everyone, what, what's one thing when you see someone, what's the first thing you do? You go up and you say, hey, how's it going? And, and everyone, everyone says, says, great. Yeah, I I'm can't doing stand good. that. Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah. Until we went to training, I don't know. I don't know if yeah, we went to a training we in went Atlanta. We went to a training in Atlanta one time, and the trainer was like, every time someone just asked me how I'm doing, I just turn around and say my dog died just to see what, the <laughs> face, what face they make. And so we tried that a few times when people were like, hey, how are you? How are you doing? My dog died. And people are like... <laughs> oh yeah like, people, people don't, don't know, know what, what to, to say, say. <laughs> i'm gonna start doing that one at uh networking events after yeah. i run out of drink tickets <laughs> oh after you Sorry. run out of drink tickets my dog died, oh, my my dog dog died. died. <laughs> i could really use another drink let's talk about the symptoms of the funk so what are some of the symptoms that you know you're experiencing the funk what are ha what is happening to you on your daily routine well i would say that the first one is you start to feel disorganized mm -hmm. You start feeling like, I don't really know what I should be doing with my time. Mm -hmm. And so you sit down and you're like, well, I don't know if I should send emails or I should make phone calls. I'm kind of just lost. And to me, that's one of the first warning signs. You may be getting into a funk mm -hmm. because you're no longer focused on the things that generate income or you're no longer focused on really anything. anything. At that point, you're kind of just they're going through motions mm -hmm. but as an entrepreneur we don't get paid for going through motions yeah. there is no hourly rate for going through my motions i can't like petition the government and be like hey <laughs> i went through my motions for eight <laughs> hours today yeah i want to get paid for that yeah and so to me that's one of the first signs if you start thinking i don't really know what to do with my time right now you may be about to get into a funk yeah. i'm not saying that you are in one yet but you may be about to get into one. What do you think about that? Well, I, t I completely agree. You start kind of feeling um, like you don't know what you should be doing at all. And then and then you kind of find other things that to fill your time. So yeah. like, for, for example, one of the things that I've noticed in my personal life is that I'll get into like checking Facebook when I shouldn't be. Oh, yeah. So like, one of the reasons yep. why I erased Facebook from my phone is because of that, because it just it was it was oh, becoming and by the too way, much of a problem. You you deactivated your account for a while and he didn't defriend you. <laughs> so he was just deactivated. So I, 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 for a I had a bit. few of you send me messages complaining about me unfriending you. I didn't unfriend oh. anyone. When was this? I didn't unfriend. He did anyone. it for like a time period because he's trying to. <laughs> I, use I am, Facebook I am less. working my way off of using Facebook as much. <laughs> you know, okay, I'm weaning myself <laughs> off right. Like a, now. Like, a, like a baby You're, horse, like, like a, a baby, baby horse. horse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're totally right. Uh, I mean, you start getting distracted by those little things. I know, I haven't deleted Facebook off my uh, book my um phone but so, what i did do is i turned off the notifications dude it's amazing when you don't put it on your phone now keep in mind standard average right now in the united states is three hours a day on this thing yep on I, facebook I believe that. on facebook so so i was like man what happens if you kind of take facebook off of this thing well you would be surprised how much time i have yesterday <laughs> yesterday <laughs> Yesterday I had the opportunity to, to, to go have lunch with the kids. Like I had I had yeah. all this extra time to do all this cool yeah. stuff, you know? And that so, that helps get you out of a funk. And that's part of getting out of the funk is okay, what are you what are you putting in into your everyday routine that you probably shouldn't be doing? Let's let's oh, no, start no, taking some of those out. No, and me, I guess they, they they saw your video or they heard your audio for your video and oh. they said that when they bought their house 
the guy that was selling them their house was there on the day of closing trying to remove the front gate off of off of the house. Oh <laughs> the wow. Front gate. Yeah, the whole front gate. So maybe they were trying to remove some some the gate or something at your place. <laughs> no Crazy clue. man. I have no clue what these people were thinking. So in the funk, one of the other symptoms I think that you need to look for is are you feeling unmotivated? Yeah. Yeah. Are you feeling like you just don't really want to do it? Even if you know what you should be doing, you like I know I should be making some phone calls right now, but I don't really feel like it. Yeah. And I think that is one of the biggest red flags. You're not only getting into a funk, you are in a funk. You're in yeah. A funk. As typically yeah. about when I hit that point is when the Netflix binging starts happening. Oh, yeah. the binging. Yeah. I didn't the think binging. about that. See, I, I I don't really binge on Netflix, so I I don't go through that. But you're right. You know what I do binge on? I find like video games or Facebook or something else that I'm like, eh, let me do that for a little bit because yeah. I really don't feel yeah. like doing this. Because you're avoiding something else. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's just agree that everyone in this industry, any, anyone that's an entrepreneur, at some point or another goes through a funk. Yeah, yeah. I would no say doubt about everybody it. goes through a funk. Yeah, yeah. And so, and so one, of the, one of the things about it is do you, can you recognize that you're in a funk Right, like because that's one of the that's one of the first things you have to do is hey, fine, I'm in a funk. Yeah, I no, absolutely, it, you, you know? can't get out of a funk if you don't know that you're in a funk. Right. So once you've recognized that you're in a funk, what are some of the things that you can do to get out of it? Well, you got to recognize first that it's mental, and when you're in the funk and you start getting distracted, you got to realize what your brain is actually trying to do. The reason you go to Facebook or to Netflix or to video games is because those things provide quick endorphin releases and feel good chemicals in your brain and so you're looking for something to do something to release that feel good chemical and so that's why you go to those quick fixes what you yeah. should actually do is find another way to make your brain feel good but that's actually productive and maybe it, maybe it's not even real estate related but it could be like going out for a run and getting some exercise in oh yeah or doing some type of real estate activity that's going to give you a small win to get that chemical release going again that's going to help get you back on track absolutely, absolutely. and that's what i was going to say is when you're in that funk, and I didn't even think about exercise, and I know that exercise <clears throat> is highly regarded as one of the best ways to get an endorphin release yeah. and, and start feeling better. But what I was thinking is, look for those small wins. Like, if mm -hmm. you don't want to hit the phone, go through your phone book and find that one person that you know without a doubt is going to tell you what you like to hear over the phone. Because sometimes <laughs> hearing those things can really help get you out of a funk. It'll sure. be like, you know what? John made me feel better. Yeah. I called him. That guy is always willing. I, I asked him, does he, does he have some referrals that he can send me? He always sends me somebody. Whether the referrals are any good or not, it doesn't matter. This guy's yeah. always on my side. He's on my team. He's an advocate for my business. He's an advocate for me. Let me call him. And then when you get off the phone, you're like, man, John's a good guy. All right, let me make some more calls. I yeah. feel a little bit better. I see what you're saying. So that using that as a step to get to the next Le step. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Linda, uh, Linda, who is one of our agents, her advice is try staying broke all the time so you'll never get into a funk. <laughs> 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 that's and you know what that's actually that's strategy <laughs> no that's I, I think that's really kind of subconsciously what a lot of people do most people out there aren't willing to risk it and go through the highs and lows they'd rather just hey nice little salary job nine to five go home don't think about it wake up rinse repeat yeah. and you're right linda you're completely right when you become an entrepreneur you subject yourself to the funk and that's yeah. why we got to yeah. know how to fight Absolutely. it Absolutely. Be because of all the ups and downs, yeah. because of everything that happens. And that's even part of like the training that, that, that we work on. In the oh, yeah, absolutely. How to get rid of those peaks and valleys, how to create that consistent income so that you don't have to go through that. But you know what happens is, and this is, you know, you guys make fun of me for making fun of realtors for this, but a lot of realtors make their first paycheck and go out and buy the white Lexus and, <laughs> and you know, the big giant pearls around their neck. You know, like that's just like what they do. It's like, I, this is the first time I've, I've heard the pearls. Made, yeah. So he added something new to his paradigm. Pearl, okay. pearl, <laughs> pearl Lexus, pearls around the neck and a big giant ring and, and, and poofy hair. And poofy hair. <laughs> yeah, that's that's I mean, in my opinion, you know, they, they, they the model is complete. That's the model, model realtor. You come in and you're like, all right, boom, I'm going to go get a Lexus, you know, and it's like, Dude, you just made your first check, you know? Like, relax, take a break. It's like Lexus is directly targeting realtors, yeah. right? Wait, don't you own a Lexus? Yeah. 
<laughs> that's why. But it's not a pearl white Lexus, damn it. Oh, don't, so close. Don't group me into that category, and I don't have poofy hair. <laughs> All right, we have to take a quick commercial break. When we get back, we'll continue our conversation of the funk, how we can get out of it and get into some events. You're on the Realty Ruckus. Stay tuned. Hey Houston, this is Alan Hernandez, and I want to remind you guys to visit our friends over at Quest IRA to learn everything there is to learn about investing with your IRA. Now, if you haven't been over there recently, you have to check them out. They have free educational classes, networking opportunities, the ability to tap into a billion dollars for your real estate investing deals. These are the guys to know when it comes to learning about this kind of stuff. You want to make sure you visit them and check them out over at www.questira.com. Again, that's questira.com. Stop searching and start staying in the know with our Houston Real Estate Events page on Facebook. Follow us by searching at Houston Real Estate Events to stay up to date on the latest events for real estate in the Houston area. If you are interested in having your event on our page, please email me at david at whitepicketrealty.com. Again, that's david at whitepicketrealty.com non-paid events only. One more time, find us on Facebook at Houston Real Estate Events and we'll see you all at the next one. What do you love about White Picket? I love that we work together as a team. I love being professional while having fun. I love the innovative approach we take every day. I love the support we get to grow our business. We, we love White Picket. And I love empowering the next generation of realtors to live life by their own design. If you're looking to grow, come grow with us. Email join at teamwpr.com. Again, that's J-O-I-N at teamwpr.com. And we are back on Realty Ruckus. Remember that you can find us live on Facebook and YouTube, where if you chat with us live during the show, we can answer your questions on the air. Now, today we're talking about the funk, when you got the funk, and how do you get out of the funk once you're there. Yeah. And we've given some really good advice, but I do think, and it, you mentioned this earlier, but I, I think it's important to, to kind of touch on it just a little bit. The one thing you don't want to do when you get in the funk is get yourself even deeper into the funk by avoiding the activities that actually generate and produce for you. Yeah. And I see a lot of people, they get into a little funk, and what do they start doing? They start going to a lot of networking events, which there's nothing wrong with going to networking yeah. events. They can be really great for your business. But unless you're just going there to drink, exactly. You're going there to drink and to eat the free food. Yeah. And then you, you're not actually doing anything for your business. Yeah. And you're spending five days a week at a networking event and you're not being productive and you continue to get deeper and deeper and deeper into your phone. Yeah. So those of you that that applies to, and we know who you are, because uh, <laughs> your Facebook posts are increasing. <laughs> 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 we know who you are. Uh, that Here's the thing. If you're going to go to a networking event, you need to be using that network, networking event to your advantage. Yeah. And and if you're not, then all you did was just go for a drink. No, absolutely. You know, for and, a free drink. And that's one thing that we always teach <clears throat> our agents and that we make sure that we ourselves are doing when we go to a networking event. We make sure that there is a purpose to that networking event. Yeah. This is what I intend to accomplish. Yeah. And yes, I might have a few drinks while I'm here, but I'm going to make sure that damn well that I accomplish these things before I have those few mm -hmm. drinks because that's what I'm here for. Yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. not here for the booze. I'm here for the actual network. Before our events, we, uh, you know, Alan, you you get us in a circle and you ask us to verbalize our goals for that mm -hmm. networking event. Mm -hmm. And then we all make a commitment for those goals, and you know, we all go in team team clap or whatever and we go out and we have an objective of mission for yeah. that night yeah everyone has a mission for for that event but that's the thing i think in 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 the real estate world that's not always the case i think i think there's so many events and so much free food and so much free booze that a lot of times it just becomes habit of going to those events just for that just yeah. again and someone's going to be yeah. there to make you feel good you got the booze yeah. the and fun I feel time like some people start to lie to themselves and they convince themselves I'm spending so much time working in my business. Yeah. I'm I'm so big. I go to networking events every I'm at, day. I'm at, I'm at every networking event. Why yeah. am I not making money? Well, because you forgot to make your phone calls. Yeah, you forgot because to do your follow ups. You forgot to do the important stuff. Not just Absolutely. go drinking every day. Yeah. <laughs> and 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 so here's the deal. There are things you can do to to get out of it. And one of the things that that has worked for me in in my personal life is literally writing these things down is okay here is what i know is not working 
here is what I know will work because yeah. we all know these things. It's kind of like when you get mm-hmm. really, really fat. Oh, like, yeah, I know yeah. what I got to do. I got to exercise. What I got to do to lose weight? weight. Yeah, yeah. I got to exercise and I got to eat right. Here's what I got to do. And then literally start. You, you're not going to execute them all at once because it's overwhelming. Yeah. But you can execute <clears throat> them slowly, one step at a time. Today, I'm going to do this. The most productive day that I have had literally in the last few months has been a, has been when we started going back to boxing. Yeah, we went, I, we went we went back to boxing, and I got I got Brandon and my new buyer's agent Zach, and we went, and that the guy that was doing the class is like the toughest guy there, right? And we couldn't even move the next day, like we were. I remember hurting. that. Yeah, I remember. I talked a little bit about that. <laughs> that was the most productive day we had, but because <clears throat> it's because we had good energy, every you know we, yeah. we released all of the stress and all that, so it was it was great. And every and like you said, you can literally just go for a quick run and get the same feel. feel. Yeah, my wife uh, Ashley, she said she's listening on audiobook right now to a book called The Power of Habit, which you guys might have read it already. Um, I've heard of it. I haven't read it, but I've heard of well, it. Well, in that book, she was explaining to me that um, the, the guy, the author, he talks that you know when trying to build habits. You should just start with one thing because doing that one thing disciplined and well and getting the results and feeling good about it, it's actually going to start spreading out into the other areas of your life. And what you just said, you saw that when you felt good and you had that endorphin rush and you and you had accomplished something that day with kickboxing, mm-hmm. it spread out into your real estate business yeah, as well. Yeah, absolutely. And you see how it starts It starts opening some doors. Everyone else feels good. Everyone's good on the phone. So Yeah, you guys came in with a lot of energy that day. Yeah, exactly. And, and, and it, we've been going since then. So, all right. Make sure that if you're in the funk, you share it with, with us. We want to know about it. We want to help you out of the funk. And most importantly, that you're implementing strategy to get out of that funk because everyone goes through it but everyone can get out of it. Oh yeah, and if you're in a funk and you want to get out of it, We've got some events that you can come to. <laughs> oh, oh. And yeah. we offer free drinks and food. Oh, and there's free drinks and food at these events. But that's not what you're there we for. We will make you feel good for sure. Yeah. No. <laughs> we'll be feeling good, though. Come out to these events. Maybe a little glowy. <laughs> come out to these events. Find one of us. And let's mastermind how to get you out of that fun yeah, over sure. a drink. You know? let's, talk, let's talk about some of the really, really cool events that we have coming up. Because so, I think we have a handful. Yeah. So next week, uh, Jet Lenders and Renters Warehouse, they're having their big happy hour over at the Redneck Country Club from 5 30 to 8 30 and that's on wednesday the 21st now the following day on thursday the 22nd houston breakthrough realtors is actually having a new agent happy hour and that's for all the agents who have recently entered the industry or are enrolled in classes and are looking to become an agent here soon that's going to be held at pub fiction from 4 to 7 p.m again on thursday february 22nd all right so that's for anyone out there who literally just applied for their license just applied maybe they, maybe they 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 got it and they hung it out of brokerage but maybe maybe they're they're kind of yeah still they're they're, their they're still a little lost yeah, and yeah, they, they need some direction lost. They, they don't really understand, understand where to go it's a great organization it's all about helping each other grow having some accountability masterminding on mm-hmm. best strategy best methods to actually grow your real estate business and and it's at a really cool bar it's a pub fiction yep. in midtown which we love going there they've remodeled it recently it's going to be a good event so make sure that you share that event uh, with anyone who you think might benefit. There's 12,000 people that applied for their real estate license here in uh, Texas wow. this year. Wow. 12,000 people. So imagine there's somebody out there that would uh, would love to come hang out. Exactly. That's 22nd. And then for all of you realtors out there who have wondered what it's like to be a part of Team WPR, maybe want to experience a little bit of our culture or what we're all about, I invite you to come out to the Team WPR Summit on March uh, 5th. And that's a Monday, Monday, March 5th from 8 to 1 p.m. at Valero Title in the Galleria. If you want an invitation, please reach out to me at david at whitepicketrealty.com. It's always a great time. We start off with mm-hmm. motivational speeches, uh, reward our top producers, have announcements for their company, and giveaways. then go into tons of giveaways, yeah. uh, bottles, Echo Dots. Uh, Bluetooth speakers. Nobody I didn't want the Echo Dot. Yeah, what was up with you? That? Wanted, why you gave it why away. Did you want the Echo Dot. No, no, no. I, I did. I gave away the Chromecast. Oh, okay. I already had like three okay. of them. So. Oh, got it. Got and then well, I won the Bluetooth headphones, so it was all who good. Who won the Echo Dot then? I don't remember. Oh, Jorge. We, we basically Jorge, had to like throw it at somebody. Yeah. And it I wanted it. that. I wanted that. Knocked them out. You, and you take Dot. that home with you. <laughs> so um, anyways, obviously there's some really cool door prizes at the summit. Reach out to me for a special invitation. Again, that's Monday, March 5th, 8 to 1 p.m. And then the following week, our big happy hour, the first one of the year, the real estate rally. Over 350 real estate professionals will be in attendance with free beer all night long and free food while it lasts. This is one of the biggest real estate networking events in town. I yes, cannot sir. wait for this event. Yeah, it's I gonna am be fun. so excited about it. We have a, 
a brand new set of uh, partners that are going to come in and really enhance all of your businesses out there. This is targeted for realtors who want to continuously grow their business and get to know more vendors who you who you need in your in your back pocket. Uh, this is for lenders who are trying to grow. This is for the investors out there who want to meet people and want to grow their business. I mean, we get private money lenders, we get attorneys. I, I, I can't think everyone of, across yeah. the spectrum. I mean, it's really, really a cool <clears throat> event. Make sure you guys come out, invite your friends. It's free. All you have to do is register through the meetup group. I mean, we'll make sure to post the, uh, the link down below so you guys can through see Eventbrite. it. Through Eventbrite. Through yeah. Eventbrite, yeah. excuse me. And and that way that that way you guys can come out and hang out. That's March 13th. I'm really excited about yeah, that. Yeah, and I wanted to show some love to some of the people that have been commenting on our feed. I just saw these come in. Tang went a great uh, a viewer for us. And we actually have never met him. He's out of Dallas. Can't wait to meet him. But Tang said, as of January 22nd, he partnered up with two other invest investors, former corporation, and now he doesn't have time to get into funks because they're all holding each other accountable. Nice. That's another great way to make sure you don't get into a funk. There you go. Yeah. I like oh, yeah. that. That's a really good tip. Thank uh, you. Thank you, Ricardo, for watching. And then Justin Montez says he loves their Echo Dot, and they got it playing White Elephant for Christmas, and they're loving it. So thank you for showing some love for Amazon <laughs> Echo Dot out there. So there are people that like the Echo Dot. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> I couldn't give it away, man. I'm sorry. If, Last you, want, if you want another one, Justin, come pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> Last event on the docket for a White Picket Realty in March on the 22nd. I want all the realtors out there to be on the lookout for our Digital Marketing for Realtors class. We're going to be breaking down the uh, strategies we use here at White Picket Realty to be able able to reach out to the clients in the digital world and how you can start bringing in leads via those channels. Absolutely. You know, a great example of that. And I'm, I'm actually very glad that Justin is 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 listening because Justin's an, an, a friend of mine, but he's also a client. Yeah. And, oh, awesome. And uh, and so recently I was able to help him buy a house. And and one of the things that we did for him after after he got married was put together a quick little one minute video with all of the pictures from his Facebook page. Oh yeah. Okay. I saw that. Yeah. That? Yeah. And then we shared it with him. But you know, here's the thing. It didn't cost much to do that. It cost a little bit of time, but we can show you as agents, as realtors, how you can do the same and why that would bring value, not only to your friend or client, but to the friends of their friends. You see exactly. I mean? the people yeah. People that are going to see that video and say, "Man, you have the greatest realtor in the world." Yeah. So anyway, that's what we want to bring to you guys. Make sure you definitely put that. That's going to be a really good event. Yep. I'm excited yeah. about it. And that's it for us, guys. We're out of time. Very cool. It sucks that this that this is so short now, man. But like, there's there's a good side to it. Oh, too, it's right? fun. It's yeah. fun. It's like it's not an hour long. Now it's 30 <clears throat> minutes. We crunch it all into this like small time frame. We get as much yeah. of it out there. Hey man, I got networking it. events to get to. I, I know, I know. Right? Of it's a lot of drinking <laughs> and, 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 and food to go eat today for sure, you guys. Make sure you join us at all of the events. Actually, there are some events tonight, I believe. Oh, some, I'm not playing. Yeah, we're, yeah, we gotta today go networking. Today is PLF. Today is yeah. the PLF party. All right, very good. We'll hopefully see you guys out there later. I thank you guys again for joining us here on The Realty Ruckus. Don't forget that we're on every Tuesday and Thursday from 1.30 p.m. to 2 p.m. Don't forget to share this with anyone that you think could benefit from growing their business. Keep up your ruckus and we'll see you next time. This has been The Realty Ruckus. Make sure and join us every Tuesday and Friday for new episodes. Find us on YouTube and Facebook for replays of previous episodes. And as always, keep elevating yourself and keep up your ruckus. Thanks for listening. Realty Ruckus has been brought to you by Smart Pig Media Productions.